to kick this in though. He can kick this in just past the two ball with the cue ball going the longer way. He's, he's deciding to jump here. Playing the 10 jump maybe? Oh, I, yeah, I was thinking he was playing the 10. Thing, yeah. yeah, I'm sure he was trying to leave the cue ball down table, of course. Hopefully behind the nine. So another chance for Shane. And if he can get decently on the two ball. As long as the angle on the two ball is good, you can get to that four ball. Might be a smidge okay there. short. Uh, well, you might you have could to run go, into go the ball. four or play, yeah, or play the four in the same pocket as the two ball. Yeah, I do. I don't mind running into the four. I also think if you run into the five before running into the four, you still get something. Oh wow, he oh. held that ball. That's insane. Well, it also shows that he is feeling the speed of the table a lot better. Uh, go for the five and the ten ball will hold it? Or do you play the ten ball here? No, I might shoot to the corner and play low left. Three rails. Oh, he's caught the 10 in the side. He's going all in. Yeah, nice shot there. Look at the cue ball as well. Really good Clever shot. shot. Shane Van Bowen up 2-0 against Tyler Steyer in the first set. What are your predictions, Tim? I mean, I actually was expecting Tyler to win the match. But Shane is looking good. And like I mentioned before, the tables have had their struggles. But they, have, they are starting to play good where a player like Shane, you don't see him complaining more about the equipment or maybe the reels are too fast. You can see he has adapted and is starting to play good as well. So in this case, of course, with Shane being 2-0 up, he's a definitely a favorite to win the first set and possibly more. Yeah, so he's going to break from the middle again, maybe a half a diamond out to the right. And we'll see where the two balls behind the one go. And watch out for the four railers as well. The ones on the corner, the eight and the four. Those might go four rails in for the corner as well. So take a look at those and see if he's in square. The five almost went. Four ball went in the top left corner as low as the two. And it looks like he's got a safe behind the five. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, yeah, it makes no sense shooting to the side pocket. No future on the three ball. That's made three balls on the break, so he's starting to... Oh, this looks a little... Oh, oh short. Catch a rail there. Yeah. So now, the only thing I wasn't too sure about, did he leave the one ball on to the corner? because he can rub off the 10 and get something on the three ball. I think he does. It looks like it. Would be, would be a good gift to Tyler. So first look at Tyler Steyer as a player in this in this event. Uh, well, this, this, this match. He um, had a really good shot on the one ball, and I think he's the favorite to run out here to have to get, get good shape on the five. Yeah, any, uh, anything close to the fireball would be nice. He just got something at the fireball. 
good thing is he can stop the kill, all right. I did see. Yeah, it's a stop shot, simple stop shot. You don't want to be on the rail there. Yeah, true. I did see a little facial expression from Shane after that safety in his chair. He actually looks like he cares a lot. I said this yesterday, and now it's a similar thing. Yeah, when is Shane is thing. motivated, or when he is when his attention is focused, that's when he's the best version of him shines through. Oh wow. He really was trying to pound the cue ball off the rail. Just one thing. He had, had that much movement. If you had stopped the cue ball and got the cue ball on the rail, it would have still been better, I guess. There were still other options. Just make the ball and. No, I think he chose the correct shot. He just hit it way too thick. So he didn't cut it. So, little gift for Shane if he can clear this up. He'll be on the hill in his first half. Does he have to bump the line? Can he hold the cue ball? No, he not. You can tell he's confident. Yeah, but he's also playing fast. Like he's feeling, he's really starting to feel comfortable in the arena as well. So, 3 0 lead, Shane van Boning. Cannot see him miss this, so. A good chance for Steyer, Steyer but. Yeah. Just that five ball, if he got closer to the five, he would have definitely run out. I was tired. I think he just rushed his stroke. The the way he took, he's usually so slow coming back on the back part of the stroke. And he kind of went back real fast, and I think he rushed the follow through on it, and he just kind of clunked it. But it's okay, he's got another set after this if Shane wins this next rack, so. Another chance for redemption, but uh, set's not over. Yeah, for sure not. If you look at the statistics, Tyler had one break and missed one ball. It's basically causing him to be 3-0 down. But still, it's a race to four winner break. A dry break here could be still a 4-3 winner for Tyler, so... It's one of the good things about this format that keeps the match close. Of course, last break, three balls in the break. I'll try to duplicate one of those. On the side, wow, the, the one corner. ball went in the side. I've never seen oh. that from a straight on break. It just went right on the side. Yeah, it didn't wow. hit him right in the face. So maybe that could cause it a bit. And possibly quite difficult to push out on the three ball just because it <laughs> be stuck on the rail. Right, right. So where would you push your Tim? I felt that one coming. Probably a little bit well he's going to the other side of the short I would go to the right side of the corner. This side. But still, you gotta beat the kiss on the three ball. It's not like you can push anywhere and just play, nick the ball. Let's go to the other side. Or does he see something else? Is he gonna. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. I would return this. Well, I think he might gonna... be trying to. He might be trying to play the three ball two rails up towards where he's at now at the middle final. I don't really think there's a... I, I would give this back just to see what he does with it. Well, it's also the cue ball you could get behind the 10. 
but you gotta beat the kiss, and if you hit the eight, you sell out instantly. I'm not a big fan of this. Or is he going aggressive and cut the three ball in? Okay, so... Yes, that's what I was thinking. Did buy some time. Now, what would you play here? Don't think there's any bank. I would probably either go off the left side of it and then you have the, the four ball blocking the pocket and try to play behind the five, or you go behind the four. Yeah, that's what he's doing right there. He just hit it a little thin. Yeah, a little thin. Yeah, maybe. You gotta go for this one, huh, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it. I was just gonna say, I believe the carpet for him maybe a little bit thick. Maybe he wasn't trying to use the extra long rail to get behind the five. This is such a high reward if you make it, and what else can you play? And like he, he's played it with a confident pace because he knew there was almost no spot on the table where he was gonna miss the four ball. Don't jinx him yet, Tim. Oh, I'm so Stop glad he made that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's some people would baby the three ball and then miss the three ball because they're trying to stay close with the four. That's why I was explaining. So now gotta beat the nine ball if he can make sure it makes the ball thick with inside. Oh nicely done. Tricky shot. <laughs> Beautiful stroke there, and he's gonna have to go from the six to the seven. A little bit of low left English. Come over to the other side of the table. Go to seven in the opposite corner pocket. Yeah, now suddenly he's looking to win the first set, 4-0. Two mistakes by Tyler, and that's all she wrote for this set. He's very fluid. He's just going through the motions and really just letting his stroke out, and that's the best version of Shane. Yeah, so Ben Bonin takes the first set 4 0 against Tyler Steyer. But still, we will go into the second set, and we could see the same thing coming from Tyler. One of the more interesting facts is that Shane, after the break, 100% had a shot after the break, the first shot. So he had a good safety opportunity or a possible run out. And that's quite a feat. Yeah, to make up um... all the break, 100%, but then also to get something after is Huge. Oh, he's done it again. And no shot on the two ball, so I might have jinxed him. So just explaining for the viewers back home, Tyler Steyer did start off in the first set. That's also the reason why after winning the first set, Shane gets to start breaking in the second set. So looking at nicking the two ball and bringing the cue ball two rails back down. If he or tick and get separation with inside. 
Oh, I didn't see that shot was there. Yeah, he just took what. He, yeah, he knew he was maybe not going to get it perfect, but at least distance and probably some cover. To me, it looks like Tyler's playing a little faster than usual, and I think that's messing with his rhythm a little bit. Is he going to give up something? No, the two ball doesn't go. But I agree, Tyler looks a little bit faster. I'm not sure if that's on purpose because of the shot clock or feeling uncomfortable because of the shot clock. Some players know how to change their rhythm. Some players struggle by doing it. it does have... Oh, I was going to say if he had played this with more pace, I think he could have had the distance and the hook. Now, Tyler can't end this, right, Chris? Yeah, it looks like it. it's just tough because you don't want to hit the six as well. Oh, yeah. he's this not going like this. Straight stop shot on the two ball and hook the cue ball right behind the six. Just don't make the three wheels in the I side. I think you use a little bit of left English and just slower. There you go, just like that. Beautiful you see, he's, he, he's already called the corner. The one real kick, like he gets to the table, called it instantly. He looks really fast. Yeah, he looks he faster than he usually does. His usual pace is a little more, um, you know, he usually uses all of the shot clock for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's not a thing about slow or fast. It's more that everybody's got a rhythm and he looks out of rhythm. And he's not showing up in this match so far. And it happens. But it doesn't always make it feel good. <laughs> right. So, any trouble in this rack, Chris? Maybe 7 to the 8? Yeah, the... Well, you just have to make sure that you don't get too much angle on this four ball. And the seven to the eight is probably the only real concerning factor of this breath for him. Yeah, especially you might have to travel two rails or three rails from the six to the seven. If you get straight on the seven ball, you might get quite tough to get to the eight ball. Not impossible, but tougher. Center of the table. So this is key shot here. Get decently on the seven. Just made sure he's got plenty of angle on the seven, but still has to find the gap between the eight and the ten, or get to where he is now, low left. Cut. Should be fine. Oh, he played double pace. See, he's really comfortable. You can feel it. Usually, players, if they feel a little pressure, they are not playing at double speed. And he 
He winged at it and got perfect on the nine ball. yet to get a game yet. Do you think this is going to continue happening or do you think we'll get one in the next few games? I think he'll be fine. I think he'll come back. I think he's going to slow down his pace a little bit and uh, kind of get a rhythm going. I hope so for the sake of the match. Yeah, like, I, it will be tough to say. Uh, both of them can run two pack, maybe a three pack. So this match is still wide open. It's just that Shane is starting to run because at some point Tyler is going to feel well. He's won five games, six games in a row. I mean, it doesn't build your confidence. Oh, he's made two balls on the wow. break again. Look at that. He made the one ball on the side, the two ball in the corner. Wow. He, he's made the eight at the end as well, so three balls. Maybe a, a slightly worse cue ball than before and got shape on the three ball as well. Yeah, so do you like the five, six combo? I think you're gonna have to shoot it, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. And it's not, he can set himself up quite decent as well with where the four ball is. You wouldn't try to maybe put a five up in the corner or in the side pocket on the left hand side. If you get a good angle on the four. Yeah, as long as you come up high for the four ball, I, I wouldn't mind it. Is he going around the table to go? to the short side of the five? No, I think he's just gonna play the, just draw it back a little bit and play the combo. But um, it looks like he's gearing up for a bigger stroke, so let's see. Oh, to the corner. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is just, what a these kind of shots, they are not so easy. He is making them look easy, but they are missable. shot on the five to get to the seven is still tricky only goes in one corner yeah. then uh, he's gonna get shaped for the assist ball mm -hmm. and then uh, go, up, go up a little bit and then I uh, see Jack he's jacking up and drawing it back a little bit what do you think Tim? Well, he Pretty chose good. to leave himself a three wheel out on the six. Going forward would be a big draw shot. And this is more natural. Top right. Maybe more center right. But, oh, he's hit this a little bit soft. He definitely didn't get there. Might be Tyler's chance, but we will see. I think he's gonna just hit this with high left and go back and up and down the table. And he's feeling really good right now, so I think he's the favorite to make it. Oh! 
He decided to go with right English, wow. Yeah, caught the side pocket point and almost has scratched the corner. So things are going his way a bit as well. Still needs a deep cut, but just make sure you play two rails minimum. Wow, amazing shot there. That hole out was really incredible. Hey, so far it has been just Shane. Shane's got six games in a row, but especially 2-0 lead in the second set. Tyler is not out of it though, and we will see Hopefully, if Shane, you know, leaves him a shot, we can see a different version of Tyler, maybe a slowed down, more methodical version that we normally see. Yeah, the two fouls from Tyler really, really hurt his chances there for the first six games. Well, he's had one break, one foul on the break, the scratch in the beginning, and then the two fouls, and basically he's at the edge of losing this match. I mean, I'm not rooting for either one of them, but I would like to see a match. And so far, Tyler is really not in the position to make it anything at this point. Shane is looking strong, just like the first match. See where that one ball goes this time. Well, actually, he's Tyler's caught chance. it a little. He's got it a little better this one. This break. I mean, he just. The cue ball was not as wild as the previous break, but now the spread was a little dull as well. So you said there's a chance for Tyler, but the three ball, I don't think the three ball does go. What would you look at doing on the two ball? He's trying to get on the correct side of this so we can maybe potentially break it out now. I mean, would you even risk breaking this out? I mean, you're down two games in a race to four. You kind of are forced to be aggressive, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like him to make something happen from this ball, from this two ball. And, oh, he's oh, caught. Wow. He could not it's have caught it any worse. I mean, not saying worse is any horrible attempt. Just there were so many ways that this could have happened. This could have worked out a little better. So hopefully trying to catch the left side, I think. Nope, chose the other way to get the cue ball out and... Nice shot from Tyler. Turned out very well. Yeah, turned out very well. I mean, you can't really ask for more. Yeah, I think he picked a side on the kick and felt it pretty good. Difficult one for Shane. I believe kicking it towards the short rail could catch the nine ball before. So he's called a three in the corner. Might He might wing at this. And if he doesn't make it, yeah, get the three ball out. I think currently, I think currently in this this stage of the game, he is going to hit it kind of kind of hard and play the three. But normally he would he would try to hit the three on the thinner side and come behind the eight or behind the ten. But he's kind of firing this. This <laughs> is <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, look at the cue ball as well. He stopped the cue ball just in case he wouldn't make it. I mean, that's the only thing you can <laughs> say here as well. He's hooked himself again, but <laughs> what a shot from Shane. He needs one more on the four. Oh, actually he got really close. But still, he's played the good pace. Perfect result. Wow. This is an example of 
you got to take it when things go right and you got to take it when things go wrong. Would you mind calling the five ball? Shoot the four into the five. I might the call it just in case, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that shot the best. But being jacked up, it's hard to pinpoint the accuracy, right? Yeah, but I wouldn't try to make it aggressive, though. Like trying to play shape on the four ball in case it does go. Like it. A different shot. Yeah, this four ball long. If you make it, you bump it to the nine. You get something on the five ball, but definitely missable. He kind of moved on that. His hand kind of came up as he was going through the ball. Uh, kind of uncharacteristic of him, but I think he's just kind of a little excited and kind of wants to get this match over with, believe it or not. Well, this is also something I wouldn't expect from Tyler, but he's banking this four ball, and actually, to me, it looks too short. Like, he can still put spin on the cue ball and move the four ball over a bit. But I think this is quite aggressive. Out there, you kind of have to play yourself into the match, though. So he has to take the opportunities that he's given and be a little more aggressive. Because if you don't, you're just going to kind of let sit back and let him beat you. That's not that's not the way to win. Yeah, I agree. See, of course, he knew if he had missed the four that there was going to be di difficult shot on the four. But. Oh, I like this one a lot better. I struck this one good. Nice shot on the four ball from Tyler. Okay, so, come on out to the middle of the table for the seven. Or he's going to drag it up. I think he's going to drag this one up, actually. There you go. Lots of good stroke on that one. You go high left here. Come down for the eight ball in the corner. Ah, uh, could go high right. I mean, could use the extra long rail if he wants to. As long as I stay away from the long rail, everything should be fine on that. Maybe it came up a little bit shorter, but still high right. Shoot the nine in the same corner as the eight. Try to get away from him a little bit, but if he just keeps a smooth stroke here and not try to force it, the pocket should accept it. Yeah, he was oh, really wow. pinching. If you looked at his stroke, his dropped, it stopped right when he struck the ball. Yeah, I think... You have to agree with me that Tyler has not been the Tyler we've seen for the last couple of months. No, Shane on the other upper hand. Um, I mean, Shane on the upper hand is almost everything he touches at the moment is, is great. So he's on the double hill, Shane Van Boning. Bing bong. Hey, I mean, it's it's time to go for Tyler. Really, he, he has to make something happen, right? And especially well, yeah, I mean, this at the last this game, he can. Oh, at this stage, I, if I get something, I am winging. I'm trying just try something. So this is to get to the last 32. From the last 32 phase, we will extend the format to best out of three sets. 
And then if we tie in racks three each in the final set, we'll go to a shootout. So less shootouts, more action. Make sure you guys stay tuned still for the next nine days, ten days. Plenty of more action to come also with the World Tembo Championships. So I actually didn't expect the A to hang up. I think it hit the side pocket point three times. And this is one of the things, you know, like now he's lost the cue ball, but fully hooks Tyler. So it's not like Tyler can play a good safety or maybe a good attacking shot. He's just in the middle of nowhere, still grinding his way, hopefully in this match. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, once you once you miss a few opportunities like he has, it's not really like the way I look at it when I'm playing. If I miss a few opportunities and the rolls don't come my way, Ed kind of deserves that to happen. I'm not saying that he deserves it, but you know what I'm saying. No, but he he loses momentum by the couple opportunities he has had. You can't expect to miss a couple balls and then still get lucky. But I've seen it happen before, so I've, um, I'm not even surprised by this game at this point anymore. Such a beautiful game when it goes and sometimes it just doesn't want to help you out. So yeah, he's having a tough match and just, uh, you know, you just got to do what you can and uh, hopefully get some other opportunity because um, you know, you just gotta take advantage of the opportunities you do get at this level. One thing I do, I mean, I'm not sure if I've ever seen it before, is that Tyler's played a good safety shot on this one ball, and Shane actually tapped on the table, acknowledging the fact that Tyler did. Not saying in a bad way, but more saying, Shane usually is pretty within himself. He's played a hell of a kick shot here, really. <laughs> He's hit it perfect. In general, I've, I've, it looks like Shane does have a good feel for the table, a good feel for the rails. He's been kicking good. Tyler is jumping this one ball. This is a long one. Get something on the one. Does he get he some work? Did he create? Here. No, no luck for Tyler's tire. Of course, he was trying to make the one. It was such a difficult shot, and this could be it for him. Of course, tomorrow we will have the loser qualification round as well so Tyler can have some practice hopefully get some good rest to show up tomorrow for his loser qualification but you have to favor Shane getting out he's been playing an excellent match so far Called the three ball just in case. Do you see anything else on the table that could be a challenge for Shane at this point? Um, no, not now. Well, look at the five seven. Well, I'm careful. actually, su I'm actually surprised he's played it this way. To use the eight. But yeah, the five ball didn't end up just okay for a five seven combo. Just gotta make sure the five ball doesn't travel towards the short rail. And especially if he plays with a stop shot or a little bit of draw, the five ball will move more forward. So 
slow rolling this ball would be nicer, but more scary. Another yeah. lifeline for a Steyer. Hugo, I think I hit the ball, I'll try to get the five ball to the middle diamond, and I try to use right English to come off the right side of it and try to get behind the nine ball. Um, you don't want the you don't want the five ball so close to the rail, but see what he's doing. Well, I think he chose the other way. Just leave the object ball wide in the open, and if you get the cover, it's difficult to defend on a wide open ball. It's difficult to kick at this, but there might be a window. If it goes the way it's been going, there is a window. That is a door, not a window. That is an absolute door. Get good shot from Shane there. Really good stroke. I mean, to get the, the door on that ball is one. But to... Well, he's looking so confident. He, I, he never thought about missing that five ball half of the planet would he didn't so now could draw into the right side of the seven ball could also a little bit stun forward or stun over for the seven in the side pocket right side pocket this is key shot if he gets nice in the seven He's played it perfect. Oh, wow. I, I did not foresee that, him doing that. Yeah, but that, it was that so was, sensitive wow. to play it that way. Yeah, so three balls remaining for Shane to get to the last 32. Well deserved, of course, if he runs this out. Nothing you can blame Shane. Played a good match. Tyler will come back tomorrow morning for a last loser qualification round. So, does have to go over a little longer route. It's not a huge deal. So, Make sure to stay tuned. We've got plenty more of action to come today, tomorrow, and the next nine days. So Shane van Boning into the last 32. This was Chris Reinhold and myself, Tim De Reuter. Thank you, and hopefully see you at our next match. See you guys. See you guys.